Remember the day a child was born into your family? Your own child, perhaps. And remember how joyful it was and how you'd never been so happy from an event in your entire life. That incredibly special day was probably spent in a nice hospital with clean running water and electricity, right? Well, in some parts of the world, it doesn't happen that way. In some parts of the world, birthdays are too often death days. And did you ever realize that seven days of childbirth labor was even possible where C-sections cannot be performed? Well, it is. And what happens to a woman and her baby during and afterwards is gut-wrenching. Mothers become the debris of death instead of the celebrated giver of life. They are discarded from their families like human trash after suffering terrible life-threatening complications due to this lack of basic medical care. They have unbelievable levels of pain with no relief, and many spiral into depression and expect to die eventually. Well, a lot of these women that don't get help, they're ostracized, and they are uh, shunned from the communities and made fun of. And uh, obviously these women are very distraught and uh, very sad. and. Uh, a lot of them actually will die. Imagine your own mother, your wife, or your daughter in this state. Dr. Darius Madge and Dr. Susan Hardwick-Smith, both OB-GYN specialists, understand how aiding those in dire need can humble us, redefine us, and give us a renewed gratitude in our own lives. To them, this special work has become a mission, and they have embraced the challenge. Darius is the founder of the West Africa Fistula Foundation, a group of medical professionals and volunteers who help these women heal and survive to return to their lives, their children, and their families. Darius, known as Dr. Maggie to his fistula patients, has traveled to West Africa 38 times to give aid to women. Uh, when I started coming in 2002, the Sierra Leone had the highest infant and maternal mortality rate in the world. And this obviously is very, very challenging, and I love the challenge. Susan, a mother of three herself, has joined Dr. Maggie in an effort to help bring big changes to the area. We followed them for a week in the town of Bo in Sierra Leone as they perform surgeries with mothers who develop fistulas after harrowing childbirth experiences. You know, in this country, if the baby won't come out and a C-section is not available and the baby does deliver due to that prolonged pressure on the bladder, the bladder can develop a hole in it that permanently leaks urine uh, through the vagina. So these patients are just chronically dripping urine, uh, sometimes even feces as a result of the damage caused by being in prolonged labor. Darius and Susan have found this desperately needed work to be extremely gratifying. The foundation and all of those who are part of its good works have taken action and have a plan for the entire community and beyond. The new hospital, uh, it's just, it's a must. Uh, it's so needed. It's something that, again, can make so much of a difference with so little. From pediatrics, general medicine, orthopedic surgery, there's nothing. Uh, so this medical center uh, is going to start with fistula and gynecologic care because that's what we know, but we're going to expand into every field because all the people need help. We're here just like we're living in hell. We're asking the people who know much about this so that they can come to our aid. We're dying here slowly. There are just so many patients who are suffering from things that they shouldn't have to suffer from, that just, uh, you know, routine medical care could give them comfort or a cure. Uh, Aisha, for example, a pregnant patient who is uh, paralyzed from the chest down, has been here for four weeks and hasn't even seen a physician who has any type of specialty in spinal cord injury because there isn't one in the whole country. She hasn't had as much as an x-ray. Just a few days after we left Sierra Leone, Aisha and her baby both died. Because of women like Aisha, along with scores of others, a new hospital and center of excellence for health care and education is in the planning stages in the nearby town of Bandajuma, just outside of Bo. The land has been acquired by the foundation and the plans are in progress. We travel to the site for a tour. So now it's a jungle. This is more life. Senior driver for West Africa Fistula Foundation. Once we arrived, we inspected the site with Paul Robinson, who is in charge of construction. You can see further to the east is the school that West Africa Fistula Foundation built for them several years ago. And Paul will show you where the hospital is going to go here. 
So our, our first part of the build would be on the higher ground, which we are looking at there towards the mountain. We've got a, approximately 65 acres to build this project on. So we plan to go that way with the main buildings because it's on higher ground, on pretty much level ground, and take the ancillary buildings that way, keep them out of the way of the main hospital and not spoil the view. The West Africa Fistula Foundation strives to make real and permanent change in the lives of mothers and their children with the new hospital. All donated monies are invested directly into the project. It's, it's going to be completely managed and run by uh, U.S. physicians and administrators initially. Of course, the plan is for sustainability with a tight focus on teaching and training people how to do this right. And we can do it. We have an incredible team who's dedicated uh, to this project. We all want to be inspired to create meaningful change in the world, but we don't always know how or who to join forces with or where we should send our support. The spirit of the, the people are amazing. When I first heard of Sierra Leone, I thought of a war-torn country and a lot of evil, but when we got here, it was just, just the opposite. The people were so nice, so friendly, so receptive. They wanted to put the war behind them. They wanted to transcend the problems and, and just be like the rest of us, have a normal life. And we are pleading, please help us so that we can have our own hospital, so that we can, uh, Dr. Maggie can continue to do the good work that he has started. Taking the whole wall in the name of God to help us. We hope that after hearing the voices of those in need and seeing the determination and good work already established, you will join in and help us do even greater things. Every pledge is meaningful and every gift is carefully dedicated to the project. The new hospital and center of excellence has gathered expertise and momentum and is worthy of your support. The people involved are dedicated, ethical and poised to expand their work when funding is pledged and donated. The people of Sierra Leone are resilient and ready to roll up their sleeves with our help. When you share in making this hospital a reality, even in a small way, you can help someone trapped in a body that needs a doctor and a diagnosis. You can create hope and save lives with your generous donations. Thank you. Doing real and permanent good in the world is the noblest of all causes. So pledge your donation now and know you will be responsible for cheering on those who are literally saving the lives of women with every journey they now make. And in the world as we know it today, Generosities, large and small, are the seeds of unity and new understanding that create joyful gratitude in faraway places. Ooh, yeah.